Welcome back, everyone. We are headed into Project 4 of Week 5. Here are some supplies you are going to need. You can use crayons, color pencils, markers, even paint. You're going to need paper. You're going to need circles to trace in a bunch of different sizes. You're going to need a ruler and a black pencil or a marker or even a black crayon. And you're going to start off with your paper, ruler, and a pencil. So we're going to start off by drawing some lines with the pencil and ruler on our paper. We're going to have vertical lines, diagonal lines, you can crisscross the lines. Any pattern you want to make with the lines, you can. Once you're finished with the ruler, you're going to go ahead and get your circles out. So I just have a bunch of lids that I'm going to trace different sizes. I'm even going to trace the top of that bowl. And if you noticed, I put the circle half off of the paper, so I didn't trace the whole circle. You can do the same thing. Here I am tracing the bowl. I'm going to trace the cap a couple more times. Now I also have a compass, so if you guys have a compass at home, feel free to use that compass to make your circles. Now once you have everything traced, I did go back in and add a couple more lines with my ruler. But we're going to go ahead and grab our black marker, black pencil, or black crayon. And we're going to start to trace all the lines on that paper. Now, once everything is traced, you're going to go ahead and get your coloring materials, so color pencils. I'm going to use paint. You can use crayons, markers, whatever you have at home. And what we're going to do, just like we did in our previous projects, we're going to use the lines that we just created as a guideline and we're going to practice staying inside of those lines. So here I'm using purple inside of this shape that I created. We'll move on to yellow. Again, make sure you're staying inside of those brand new lines we created. This is why we went over them in black. That way they're a lot easier to see than if we just left them in pencil. Just gonna add 
some blue. On this project, you can choose as many colors as you would like. If you just want to choose a couple colors, that's fine too. I stuck with about five different colors, but again, you can use as many colors as you'd like. Everybody stop what they're doing. Stand up, stretch those legs, because it is time for a dance break. Everybody put your hands in the air. Yep, time to get back to work. Alright, so I am going to speed this up for you, but you guys make sure you're taking your time. finished. Just a couple more spots to fill in. And there you have it. Finished. I did go ahead and do a second one so that you could see what it looked like in color pencil. 
Most of you, I'm sure, have color pencils and crayons at home. There is no need to go out and buy paint. This works just fine with crayons and color pencils. So there you have it finished, color pencil, there's our paint, and our color pencil side by side. Again using those straight lines and circles to create this project, staying inside the lines. Alright my friends, don't forget, you need to submit your project on Edmodo for full grade. You can also go ahead and put your project in the comments below if you want to show it off for everyone to see. And remember, have fun and be creative.